Glam Fam. Welcome back. Oh, okay. Hey Glam Fam. Welcome back. Today is going to be a review of episode seven or eight. Today is going to be a review of episode eight of Basketball Wives. Now, this is not going to be long. I'm mainly just going to be talking about the fight because that was the main thing of the of the episode. We started with Brooke. Um, so she left after all the chaos. She's back in LA. She said she wasn't going to stay the whole time anyway. Um, so her and Steven have been spending time together. She claimed they just friends and he's, you know, just been there being a supportive party after everything that she's been through. But I highly, highly doubt that two people who just divorced and she was very um, conflicted on whether to do it or not. I, I highly doubt they're just being friendly, but that ain't my business. So we get back to the ladies in Arizona and Jackie is taking them to a strip club um, just in case Evelyn gets married. <laughs> so this is a just in case bachelorette party. Vanessa is not going because she's not in the best mood after her and Evelyn's talk. That's where they left off at the last episode. And Clayana is going to arrive later. She always arrives last. I don't, I don't know if production just gives her a different call time or what. Um, but all of the other ladies are at the strip club and Brittany warns them beforehand that Clayana is going to be there. Now, of course, everybody is irritated, but it was kind of confusing why Jackie was so upset because they never appear to have an issue. I don't know if she's just getting annoyed with everything that Clayana is doing. But if you have been watching Basketball Wives before this, y'all know that Jackie is always going to pick the popular side. She typically sides with the OGs the people who've been there longer, the popular clique. If y'all remember, Tammy had to call her out on that one time when she was kind of trying to side with everybody else over OG. You are too concerned with being in the clique than doing what's right. So I'm not surprised. Um, one thing about Jackie is she gonna pick a side. <laughs> and ain't nothing wrong with that. I believe in picking sides. But I didn't know where that came from. And then it was kind of fake because she was all nice to Cleona when she showed up. So they're having a good time in the club. I think WAP was playing or maybe like the original song because they were just playing a part where there's some hoes in this house, there's some hoes in this house. So Jennifer starts pointing at Cleona. <laughs> I'm being extremely petty and I love every second of it. And Cleona points back. And this really, really ticks Clayana off to the point where she want to fight. And I get it. Jennifer is being petty. She's being childish. But it's not that deep. Like, this girl really has some anger issues. She pointed at you. You pointed back. She called you a hoe. You called her a hoe back. It should have been done after that. Like, I didn't get why I had to keep going after that. Um, so, you know, Clayana, that, that just throws her whole mood off. Her and Brittany are just sitting down talking about it. Evelyn, Jackie, Ev um, I was about to say Evelyn, Jackie, and Evelyn. Evelyn, Jackie, and Jennifer, they're still having a good time dancing though. Um, Jocelyn sees that Clayana is upset, so she goes to ask her what's wrong. Clayana tells her everything that happened. Then Jocelyn felt like she needed to go back to Jennifer and Evelyn and confirm that that had happened. Once Jennifer confirmed it, she then felt like she needed to go back to Clayana and tell Clayana that Jennifer admitted that it happened. What was the point of that? Clayana knows it happened. Jennifer knows it happened. She didn't deny it. What was the point of you going back and forth confirming a story between the two? So after Jocelyn tells her that Jennifer admitted it, that's when Clayana took her shoes off and charged over there. <laughs> understand why this made her so upset because you knew it happened so why does jennifer confirming the story make you want to fight her so she runs up on jennifer and then she just randomly stops <laughs> and just stands over her i don't know what you were trying to do um looked like she was trying to fight to me so evelyn defends jennifer and ends up snatching her wig off <laughs> Clayana is getting kicked out. Jackie is trying to fight Clayana. <laughs> you don't go to a male. I don't know what's going on. The whole club is partying and cheering. 
and and Jennifer is hugging Evelyn like, thank you so much for fighting for me. She really is riding for me and it makes me really happy to have my friend back like this. Oh, Jen, she did you. So yeah, that's the end of that night. The ladies end up leaving after that. Evelyn is looking for her with her wig. I got your mother wig. <laughs> But yeah, um, Clayana leaves Arizona after that. So the next day, the ladies have a brunch. And Brittany doesn't want to go because she's kind of upset at how things went down, um, specifically with Jennifer and Evelyn. She's upset with them. So Jocelyn wants to go check on her. And they talk about it, and they both agree that Evelyn shouldn't have gotten involved. Um, but I disagree because now Clayana knows to stop running up on Jennifer. She thought Jennifer was weak. She thought she was the easy target, but now you know. Jennifer may not hit you back, but somebody will. So Jocelyn is the only one to go to brunch with the OGs and Vanessa. She ends up joining them too. And she is kind of speaking on Britney's behalf because they're all wondering where she is. And once she starts telling them everything that Britney said, it kind of takes Evelyn back a little bit because she felt like she was being nice to Britney. For her not being here today, you're inserting yourself into something that has nothing to do with you. I feel like I've been a good friend to Britney from the beginning, despite all the crazy and chaos. I felt like they were all being nice to Britney, so I don't understand why Britney keeps trying to find issues with them. You're upset with Evelyn because she got into something that had nothing to do with you, but you're being a literal hypocrite because you're upset with Evelyn over something that had nothing to do with you. So <laughs> how are you upset at her when y'all doing the same thing? Um, Vanessa also apologized to Jennifer and vowed to mind her business. Um, and that was the end of the trip. They all head back to LA and it ends with Jocelyn catching up with Britney. Now, Brittany explains why she didn't want to go to the lunch because um, she didn't want to explain herself to them. She feels like she's protecting her energy. Um, she then claims, you know, just because something didn't happen to her doesn't mean that she isn't impacted by it. It's like she's just being such a hypocrite this episode to me because how are you saying that? But then you don't understand how Evelyn is impacted by something that didn't happen to her. And just because something may not be directly happening to me doesn't mean that I'm not affected by it. You going hard for your friend and she going hard for hers. And they've had a way, way, way longer friendship than y'all two. She has so much to say. And I'm just like, girl, you should have just went to the brunch and explained yourself at this point. So, like, it's not that I don't understand saying for your friend. I get that. But the reality is, is that Jen started it. So if Jen wasn't ready to accept whatever comes behind that, she shouldn't have tried it. I'm not about to call someone a hoe and then be like, oh, my God, they ran up on me. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I'm just over Britney acting like she's so much mature and better than these ladies. And then she starts talking about, oh, Jennifer was antagonizing her. You didn't see me antagonize Brooke. And Brooke and I weren't speaking. Did you ever see me antagonize her? Trying to poke and poke and poke and poke until I got a reaction? No. Actually, you did when they were at the cooking class and Brooke prayed. And after she prayed, you said, oh, I'm not gonna put my head down because I don't know what the energy is or whatever. That was antagonizing. Amen. 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 If she blessed the food, I'm not, I don't want any now of that energy. I ain't bow my head, nothing. That is a lie. That's a falsity. So yeah, I'm just over her acting like she is just so much mature and so much better than these ladies. Basically, Brittany and Evelyn both feel like they're inserting themselves in the situation. So I don't understand the issue. Because <laughs> y'all doing the same thing. Like, y'all know the Spider-Man meme where they point at each other? Actually, that's, that's going to be the thumbnail. Because that's exactly what they're doing. They're doing the exact same thing that they're mad at each other for. Neither one of y'all are neutral. But y'all want to be mad at each other for not being neutral. So yeah, that was the end of the episode. Um, next week, it doesn't really look like it's going to be that much drama um, unless we see the conversation between Brittany and Evelyn, but that wasn't shown in the preview. Um, yeah, that was that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that whole situation. Do y'all feel like Jennifer should have kept her mouth shut if she didn't want to fight? Or do y'all feel like once again, Clayana was picking and choosing? Let me know. And then also let me know how y'all feel about the Brittany and Evelyn thing. Do y'all feel like they just being hypocrites? Or do y'all understand where Brittany is coming from? Or do y'all understand where Evelyn is coming from? I personally feel like they are doing the exact same thing. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.